This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about a lot of stuff regarding the speed of your footage, having to slow down your footage um, to make it slow motion, how to speed it up, um, how to um, do something called speed ramping. So check it out. Sit, sit back and, uh, and check, check this tutorial out. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to talk about is um, shooting in slow motion. So you want to shoot in slow motion. Um, how do you do that? Well, you could just take any footage. Let's see this footage no um, I don't I, basically you could take any footage and you could shoot it at say um, 24 frames per second and if you were to shoot that footage at 24 frames per second and um, slow it down um, it wouldn't look that good basically it would look all choppy and um, it, it, it wouldn't look smooth like say uh, say you were to look at some professional commercial footage of say a bullet you know f flying in slow motion it's all very smooth and, and very very professional looking um, basically if you were to take any normal footage that you would shoot at 24 frames per second and slow it down it would look really choppy because when you're slowing footage down what you're actually doing is you're actually lowering the frame rate so if you slow something at 24 fr frames per second down to say half um, the speed you're actually lowering it down to 12 frames per second so you're only shoot you're only looking at 12 frames every second so it's gonna start looking really choppy and stuttery almost not stuttery but uh, um, sticky almost um, 24 frames per second is the normal frame rate when you are looking at something and it looks normal um, it's gonna be shot at 24 frames per second anything above 24 frames per second is not gonna look normal and anything below frame 24 frames per second is not gonna look normal so when you're trying to shoot something at, when you're trying to have s s footage that's going to end up being slow motion footage, you want to actually shoot. Um, you want to over, you want to overshoot your frame rate. So you want to shoot at a frame rate that's higher than 24 frames per second, so that when you stretch the footage to slow it down, meaning when you stretch the length between each frame to slow down your footage, you're actually going to be left back at 24 frames per second. Now, if you check out this piece of footage right here. I shot it at 60 frames per second. Um, let's uh, take a look. You can tell it's shot at 60 frames per second because it has this really slimy look to it. But it's good that it's 60 frames per second because I want to slow it back down um, to make it slow motion. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow this back down to 24 frames per second. In the set, in effect, converting it back to 24 frames per second by doing this. I'm going to um, right click on the original piece of footage right here uh, if I right click it and I go to modify and I go to interpret footage um, this is the original frame rate it says 59.9401 that's what that's in, in essence 60 frames per second I'm going to go to assume this frame frame rate so I'm gonna tell what the new frame rate rate is that I actually want to use so um, I'm gonna instead of typing 24 frames per second, 24 frames per second in technical terms really means 23.976. I'm gonna do okay. Alrighty then. So now this is 23.976. So let's see what this footage looks like now. Okay, cool. It's in slow motion now, right? It's in slow motion because what I did was I just stretched my original footage from 60 frames per second to 23.976 frames per second or 24 frames per second. So when and remember when I said when you stretch footage or when you convert footage from a higher frame rate to a lower frame rate, you slow footage down. Cool. I want to just reiterate this fact, guys, that. You could have shot this footage at 24 frames per second, like you shoot most of your footage, and you could have um, converted it to say 12 frames per second and slowed it down, 
and still ended up with 12, it still ended up with slow motion footage. But like I said before, you always want to end up at the end with 24 frames per second footage um, so that your slow motion will look smooth like this and not really choppy. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so we know now know how to slow footage down um, using this method, but I want to actually go right click on this footage again, do modify, do interpret footage, and bring this back to the original frame rate, which is 60 frames per second. So let's click on this. Cool. Let's see if it translated. Okay, cool. You can see that my footage is now back to normal speed, back at that original frame rate of 60 frames per second. Cool. Now, check out another way that you can change the speed of your footage, guys. Check this out. If you right click on this, go to speed and duration, you can change the speed right here. So the speed right now is at 100%. 100% means that the speed is normal. Um, now, if I go anywhere above 100%, it's going to speed up my footage. But if I go below 100%, it's going to slow down my footage. So let's go down to 50% and do OK. Cool. Um, but FYI, if you want to reverse the speed of your footage, just click on reverse speed. Um, we won't worry about that for this tutorial, though. Let's click OK. Now, what we did was we just slowed down the footage using this method. Now, think about what I just said. So, using this method, we slowed down the footage um, to 50%. Essentially, essentially, what we just did was we lowered the frame rate. Remember, when you lower footage from its original frame rate to a lower frame rate, you're slowing down your footage. Instead of dealing with the frame rates directly, we just... Um, applied a speed, we, we basically applied a speed change in Premiere, and by default, what it did automatically is it lowered the frame rate. So if I'm lowering, um, if I'm changing the speed from 100%, which is normal to 50%, what I did in essence is I changed the frame rate from um, 60 frames per second to, I guess, 30 frames per second. Um, so this is how 30 frames per second would look. Cool. It's just, it's just another way of, of uh, changing, you know, the speed of your footage. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to go back to speed and duration, and I'm going to go back to 100%. Cool. Now it's going to look normal again. It's going to look. It's going to play at regular speed again. Now here's something called speed ramping. This is actually really, really interesting, guys. So say you want to speed ramp your footage. Um. Um. That means you want to go from a slow speed to really fast speed, or really fast speed, speed to a really slow speed, all in the same clip. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on the footage, we're going to go to show keyframes, make sure that we go to time remapping, then click speed, and what that's going to do is it's going to enable us to actually put keyframes directly on the clip to affect the speed of the clip. I'm here on my clip, now I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to here, I'm going to add another keyframe here. Now, right now, the line is directly in the middle of my clip. That means that that, that means that um, the clip is now at normal speed. If I were to bring this line below the middle, um, the middle is at 100%, it would make it slower. If I brought the line above the middle, it would be higher. So in between this keyframe and this keyframe, I'm going to bring this line down. To 35%, if you saw right here, let's bring it up to let's bring it up to 50%. Okay, so from here to here, my clip is going to play at normal speed. From here to here, my clip is going to play at 50%. Then from here onward, it's going to play back at normal speed. Notice that when I slow down my clip here, I extended the clip at this end because I effectively lengthened the clip by slowing it down during a certain portion of the clip because it's now taking longer to get from frame to frame compared to um, how it was originally. So it's going to lengthen the overall length of the clip. Let's check it out. Let's see how this looks. Now you guys walk forward. Michelle, you walk a little bit now, behind slow CJ. Down right now. Just slow down just now. And I go to this end. It's going to speed back up. Let's sped back up. Let's actually make it a little bit more dramatic. Let's slow down a little bit more. Slow it down to 14%. All right. So. Behind CJ. I don't 
know if you noticed, that looks kind of bad because when I slowed it down to 14%, I'm now slowing the clip down um, below that ideal 24 frames per second frame rate. Um, if I slow it down to 50%, it's gonna look a lot better like I did before, even though it will look less slowed down. Because remember, if I slow down 60 frames per second by 50%, that's slowing it down to about 30 frames per second, which is still above 24 frames per second. So as long as I don't get below 24 frames per second, um, my slow motion isn't gonna look all choppy and weird. Cool? Awesome. All right, guys, the last thing I wanna cover is say, um, I'm going from regular speed, right? Okay. Slow motion. So slow down a little bit more so I can actually, I want you to actually notice the speed change. Slow down to 50. Okay, so. I'm CJ. See how it just went to, to, to 50, 50 frames per second. Excuse me, sorry. See how it went to 50% um, slow motion from 100%, which is normal speed. A little bit behind CJ. Now, this transition that happened right here, this keyframe, say I wanted it to be a little bit more gradual. What I would do is I would, click on the keyframe and I can actually split it to create a gradual fade from this 100% down to the 50%. A little Watch bit this. behind CJ. Let's do it again. Shall you walk a little bit behind CJ? As you can see, it's a little bit more gradual. I can make it crazy gradual or I can make it less gradual. You can do the same thing on this side as well. Very cool. All right, guys, so that is a tutorial um, showing you three ways to change speed on a clip and um, as well as how to use, um, uh, how, how to uh, create that uh, speed ramping effect. Thanks so much for, for watching, guys.